Grace to you and peace in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. My name is George Maxwell and I am the vicar of the Cathedral of St. Philip in Atlanta, Georgia. It's Wednesday, June the 17th, 2020. And it's time for our regular Wednesday parish notices. The Cathedral Parish community continues to be enthusiastically engaged. We continue to exist in spiritual communion. We continue to be the body of Christ. People are finding ways to pray for each other, to care for each other, and in socially appropriate distant ways to see each other. Our online services and classes and offerings continue to be very well attended. We're even finding that some people who've moved away are able to come back and join us. So we invite you to join us on Sundays for our services at 845 and 1115, at 1010 for our educational offering, the online old-fashioned Sunday school, and every day at 1215 for our midday meditations. This Sunday, Canon Kathy Zappa will be our celebrant, and Nate Huddleston will be the preacher at the main services. I will be teaching the old-fashioned Sunday school, continuing a discussion about race and justice that we've been calling, Where Do We Go From Here? in reference to Martin Luther King's book by the same title. We do expect to stay with this current online format for some time, certainly through the end of June, but probably even after we are able to have physical in-person services. We realize that we're able to expand our reach and let some of you participate who can't actually be here. So we're going to continue to try and make that available to you. Now, if you are having any trouble in connecting, please do not hesitate to call us. You can just go to the web page. Many of our offerings are also sending out separate email notices, but we are eager to ensure that you can join us. So please call if you're having any trouble at all. I want to remind you that the Cathedral Bookstore is open. The Cathedral Farmer's Market is open. The Cathedral Thrift Store is open. The Bookstore and the Farmer's Market also have online offerings and curbside pickup. So look at the websites for each of those entities. You'll want to know what the safety precautions are, but you also will want to know how best to engage with them, what makes the most sense for you. Now, I know that you miss the physical in-person gatherings that we love so much, the energy of them and the sight of other people and the worship that they enable. And we are working on when and how we might be able to gather. We're monitoring our conditions here locally. We're looking at the guidance that's offered by the CDC and others. And of course, the diocese is offering its own guidelines about how best to gather as church. We'll let you know as soon as we reach a conclusion about that. But I want you to know that we're not going to just gather because we can. Part of our gathering, part of being the body of Christ, as we have grown used to being, is the being together in community. And we're not going to just gather because we're permitted to if the use of masks and the social distancing and the ability to offer communion make that gathering less than the real that we are experiencing in our spiritual community. We'll let you know as soon as we know what the next steps might be. Now, if you need to get into the building, and I know some of you do in order to perform essential tasks associated with your ministry, please call the member of staff who supports that ministry and we'll make sure you get into the building. You will need a mask and there are other safety precautions once you enter the facility, but we'll make sure you get in and are able to do what you need to do. Sunday is Father's Day, the day on which we honor our fathers and all of the other father figures in our lives. We know you were looking forward to that celebration I want to tell you that the Cathedral Flower Guild has put a wreath in the memorial garden. 
That's the Memorial Garden, which you can access from the Horseshoe Drive off of Peachtree Road. And we invite you to come and use that sacred space to remember the fathers and father figures in your lives who have died. Please wear a mask and maintain social distancing if other people are in the Memorial Garden with you. But we do invite you to come and use that wreath as part of your memory and celebration of the fathers and father figures that you have enjoyed. We look forward to seeing you soon in one way or another, in line or from some appropriate social distance. And we thank you for continuing to participate in the spiritual communion of the cathedral, the communion that makes us all the body of Christ in the world. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Here endeth the parish notices for Wednesday, June 17, 2020.